Today, we are going to learn about one of the most misinterpreted yet powerful tool available for traders out there, volume. We have discussed about this before, right? The exchange has only two data available to them, historic price data and volume data. And we have to analyze them in order to take great trades going ahead. So in the last mini videos, we've learned a lot of things regarding price. In today's video, let's learn a lot of things regarding volume. The only two data that the exchange has and the only data available to us also in order to analyze and take beautiful trades going ahead. So hi all, welcome to the 27th episode of the complete learning series of stock market investing and trading. In fact, this is the sixth video of the technical analysis masterclass that we are running here. So as always, I've put all these videos into a playlist. The playlist is available here in the i button. Make sure you watch all the videos in the right order so that you can learn really well and and trade really well, right? So yeah, the agenda of today's video is super clear. You're going to learn everything that is there regarding volume. What is volume? There are certain misunderstandings and misconceptions regarding volume. We'll clear those also. We'll understand how to interpret volume, how to look at volume, and how to take great trades by interpreting and analyzing volume. That's exactly what we are going to do in today's video. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The name is Shark Shinsuin. Welcome to Market Feed. So hi, today you're going to keep your next step towards becoming a great trader. We're going to learn everything about volume. So over the last videos, we learned about candlestick analysis, trend analysis, we even learned about support and resistance, right? So in all those videos, we said that candlestick talks to us, trend lines talk to us, just like that volume also talk to us. There are big, big stories that volume has to tell us. So in today's video, we are going to learn all about these stories, what volume is going to tell us, and we are going to analyze and understand those stories so that we can take great trades. Okay, so I hope you're excited as me. In that case, mark your attendance in the comment section down below. Let's get started, right? So yeah, understanding volume is what we are going to do, do today. So first of all, in the first, very first slide, we are going to exactly learn what volume is. It's very simple. To be honest, it's a very simple concept, but it is also really powerful so that we can take great trades. So yeah, stay till the end of the video where I'll teach you strategies or I'll teach you actual insights with which you can convert the volume data into good trade insights. Okay, we'll do that. I'll even teach you one, one hidden specific indicator as well, which uses volume. Cool. Let's do this. So yeah, what is volume? Let's read it, right? The number of shares bought and sold over a given period of time is what volume is. What is it? In a given period of time, the total number of shares which exchanged hands, which were either bought or sold. Now, the largest misconception here is people think that the total number of trades is what volume is. No, total number of trades can be something else, but the total number of shares which are actually exchanged is what volume is. For example, let's see here, right? If say in five minutes in five minutes if in reliance 100 shares are actually being changed hands then the volume is 100 so let us talk about the misconceptions here right let us clear them so that you have the actual answer super clear for you cool let us take this example where we said that in reliance in five minutes 100 shares are being exchanged and the volume is 100 okay let us take that example and talk about that right in my example, okay, this is just an example in Reliance. If you actually take uh, a five minutes, there, the volume is actually in lakhs or even tens of lakhs. So this is just an example. In five minutes in Reliance, the volume is 100. So let us take a story where there are 10 sellers and there are 10 buyers. Each seller is actually selling 10 shares of Reliance and the other buyer corresponding to this seller is buying 10 shares of Reliance from him. Okay, so 10 sellers and 10 buyers and in each transaction 10 shares of reliance is actually changing hands from a seller to buyer so the misconception here is some people say that because 10 trades are happening here correct 10 trades between 10 different sellers and 10 different buyers 10 trades are happening here so some beginners actually think that the volume can be 10 no 
That is the number of trades happening here. So volume is not 10 here. Then some people think that there are 10 sellers here and 10 buyers here. So the volume is 20. No. What is the correct volume? volume the correct volume is 100. Because if put together, 100 shares of Reliance is actually changing hands here. So the real actual volume is 100. Not 10, not 20. So I, I hope things are very clear here, right? So what is volume? Volume is the number of shares bought and sold over a given period of time. And again, depending on the period of time that you're looking at, volume can be different. In Reliance itself, if you're looking at a five minute time period, volume will be so much. If you're looking at a daily time period, volume will be much higher. In the daily time period, volume will be the sum of all the shares which exchange hands during the entire day. Correct? I hope things are super clear here, right? In that case, let's read the rest of the theory. So the third point here is number of sellers and buyers do not matter. We just talked about it, right? So I hope that is clear. The fourth point here is it indicates the interest on the stock. Now you tell me, if you're looking into a stock and in a five minute interval, if there is huge volume in that stock, what does it mean? A lot of shares are being exchanged, right? It means a lot of selling and buying activity is happening, which means a lot of people are interested in the stock. It has a story to tell. Absolutely, we'll talk about that in the coming slides. No worries. The last point here is volume cannot be hidden and it only goes up, never down. Correct. It, it can only go up because it is the total number of shares bought and sold over a given period of time. So volume can only go up, never down. I hope this is clear. Now, yeah, you go. I hope you get the theory. In that case, let's get into some practicals. Now, the question is how to see volume, how to know volume. We have understood the theory. Now, how to know exactly how much volume is being traded in a stock? Let's learn that in the second slide, practical side. So, first thing is you can see volume on your broker's terminal and on charts. On your broker's terminal, you can see volume. And also, if you go to charts, you can see volume. So, let us do that. How do we do that? By adding the volume indicator. Cool, let us do that. So yeah, I have come to trading view again. As you've seen over the last mini videos, we've been using trading view to show you how to look at charts, how to draw trend lines and all of those things. And link to use trading view is given down below so you can definitely check it out. So yeah, I've come to trading view. I've selected ITC here. I hope you know the stock ITC, Indian Tobacco Company, right? So I've selected the company ITC. I've selected daily time period here and you can see that ITC is in what trend here? It is clearly in an uptrend, right? Even in the last two days, you can clearly see that it has broken the previous high. So it is in a clear uptrend. If you haven't watched my video on trend analysis, make sure you watch the video. It is given here in the I button. So yeah, we have looked at ITC. Now we see its price movement. What is it that we are here for? We have to see the volume data, right? So one thing you can do here is you can see ITC and there are some details regarding ITC that you can see here. See, ITC's price is here and ITC's day range is here. Just like that, you come, if you come down here, you can see that volume of ITC of today is 8.38 million, which is nearly 83 lakh. That is on the latest day, that is on the day of when I'm shooting the video, which is 4th November, the volume is 83 lakh. Let me go back to the definition. 83 lakh shares of ITC were bought and sold today in the market. 83 lakh shares. I hope you understand that. So that speaks about something, right? Now again, if you look here, average volume of the last 10 days is nearly 14 million, which is 1.4 crore shares per day. What does it say? Over the last 10 days, on an average, every day, 1.4 crore shares of ITC are bought and sold every day in the market. Today, 83 lakhs only happened. What do you understand? Compared to previous 10 days, today was a below average performance. Note regarding the stock's price movement I'm talking about. I'm talking about the volume here. Today, volume wasn't that great. A lot of people were not buying and selling ITC is something we can quickly understand here. So just by looking there, you can and have a fair bit of an understanding about the total volume of uh, ITC today and its comparison to the previous 10 days also. This is something. Now, let me teach you this, which is uh, using the volume indicator. So yeah, we have to add the volume indicator onto the chart. We haven't learned about indicators yet. Definitely in the coming videos, we'll be learning about multiple technical indicators also. Anyways, here on trading, you have to come here, click on indicators and here in the search bar, I have to select uh, or I have to search for volume. Okay. And I have to select this volume. 
okay and then i'm closing this and volume has been added on to the chart as you can see here right so these bars you see here at the bottom this indicates the volume in itc based on the time period that you have selected here so i have selected day time period here so each bar here right oh, let me let me just zoom in so each bar here represents the volume in itc on this specific day that is this is 4th november right so on 4th november so if you keep your uh, cursor here you can see here right next to the volume indicator on the top left corner i hope this would be highlighted in post production there you can see the volume is 8.38 million 83 lakhs exactly what we saw here as well right so next if you actually go to this volume bar here which is the volume on 3rd november you can see that the volume is 10 million nearly 1 crore if i keep my cursor here on this volume uh, bar here which is the volume of 2nd november you can see the volume is 16 million okay just like this now we are looking at a daily time period now i am changing it to five minute time period okay let us see if volume is volume indicator is working on a five minute time period also absolutely so yeah i've changed uh the chart to five minutes right now each candlestick represents the price movement of itc over five minutes right so i am going to keep my cursor here say probably on this candle this is the candle from today 4th november at 11 10 a.m that is from 11 10 a.m to 11 15 a.m the price actually moved up from 354 to 355 the price actually moved up by one rupees and at that point of time at that point of time you can see that the volume traded in itc is 214k which is 2 lakh 14 thousand that is just in that five minute time interval 2 lakh 14 thousand shares of itc were bought and sold very clear what was our agenda here how to see volume so we've gone into the chart we've added the volume indicator and depending on whatever time frame that you're analyzing you keep the cursor at the bottom you can see how much volume happened there how much shares of that particular stock that you're looking into was bought and sold in that time frame as easy as that now you'll have one big big doubt on your mind what is that why red and green bars in volume right so if you come here and see some volume bars are red some are green right so you see here two are red here or in fact three are red, uh, red here and then we have some small green green volume bars also why let us read the theory here if the candlestick is green then the volume bar will also be green and the same case for red volume bars too that is if the candlestick is red then the volume bar will also be red what does it indicate think about that there is an actual story being set by the volume uh, bar here. So you think about this, you look into this candle. This candle is a red candle. What does a red candle indicate? A red candle indicates that there is selling pressure in the stock. That is sellers are more powerful than buyers. And the volume, and if you look into the volume bar here, the volume bar is also red. Which means that, and, and if you look at this red, red volume bar, this red volume bar is also a pretty big one. If you compare to any other volume bar in this day, this red volume bar is a bit higher. That is good amount of volume actually happening in ITC in this five minutes and ITC stocks price actually moved down. So sellers are more active here and thus the volume bar is red. Now there is one another misconception here that I hear a lot of beginners telling, right? A lot of beginners, when they see a red volume bar, they kind of say that, oh, there are more sellers than buyers here. There is nothing like that. This red bar just indicates that sellers are more activated here or sellers are more powerful here or sellers have beaten down buyers and because of that, price has moved down. That is that. So actually, what I do myself is, I'm not really concerned about the color of a volume bar. I just look into what is happening in volume. Is there high volume happening here or low volume? I'll teach the analysis just going ahead in another slide. I'll be teaching the analysis, but this is what you should understand. You need not be really concerned about if the volume bar is red or green. You're anyways looking at the candlestick. If the candlestick is green and if there is huge volume, that is what you should be looking into. And if the candlestick is green, then the volume bar will also be green. And if the candlestick is red, and then, then the volume bar will also be red. So what is to be really observed here is the length or, or the size of the volume bar and not the color of the volume bar. So I just took time out to explain the logic behind the color of the volume bar so that you are not misunderstood, you are not confused. Clear? Then let's move ahead. So next, let us understand the use of volume. 
Now we have understood what volume is. Now we have understood how to plot volume indicator and look into a uh, volume and all of those things. Now let us understand why volume. Why should we even look at volume and what is the use of volume? Cool. So the first point here is volume is one of the fundamental truths about the market. It indicates the interest on that stock. Correct. We discussed about this in the intro introduction as well. Exchange knows only two things. Price movement and the volume at that point of time. So it is one of the fundamental truths about the market. And this is very important, right? It indicates the interest on the stock. If there is huge volume, as we discussed before, if there is huge volume, it means that a lot of people are buying and a lot of people are uh, selling as well. So there is something interesting happening in the stock. Correct. So the second point here is volume helps us confirm trends and patterns are backed by interest from all market participants. When we learned about trend analysis, when we learned about support and resistance, when we even learned about candlestick analysis, we spoke about this, right? A huge green candle indicates that there is a lot of buying happening there. What if, what if along with that huge green candle, there is huge volume also? What does it indicate? What is the story? It indicates that it is not just that the price is moving up. A lot of people are also taking part, which means that a lot of people believe that the price should actually move up, which indicates an actual super good uh, established up move. Correct? That is the story that we are telling here. Volume helps us confirm trends. When we learned about the trend analysis or even support and resistance, we said this, right? A resistance can be broken only with high price action. What does a high price action mean? A good green candle with high volume also. And there the volume indicates that all market participants or a lot of market participants are agreeing to that up move. They are participating in that up move and that is a good up move. So volume confirms trends. That is the use of a volume, right? For example, let's look at the third point, which is an actual example for you. If a breakout is happening without volume, it could be seen as market participants not believing in that move. That is, volume is actually speaking for the market participants. If there is high volume, it means that uh, most of the market participants are believing in that move. And if the volume is less, many market participants are not even interested in the move which is happening. Which means that we can also look into volume and we can also choose whether to believe in a move or not to believe in a move. That is, again, we are coming to, back to this point, right? Volume helps us confirm trends. An uptrend with high volume is a confirmed uptrend. A downtrend with high volume is a confirmed downtrend. Uh, so we'll come to that slide. Next slide actually talks beautif beautifully about what is being discussed here. The last point here is high volume is always preferred while actively trading on instrument. Now again, this is another thing, right? Beginners actually get caught in certain stocks. What kind of stocks? Certain kind of stocks where there isn't a lot of volume. So no volume in a stock means that a lot of market participants are not even interested in that stock and it means that there is illiquidity in that stock or no liquidity in that stock. So a pro tip to beginners is if you're trading in a stock or if you're trading in certain options, whenever you're trading in something, always switch on the volume indicator, look into the volume in each five minute candle if you're trading intraday. And if there is considerable volume in every five minute candle is only when you should choose to trade in that. If there are no much volume in that instrument, Choose not to trade in that at all. Pro tip, make sure you follow this. Okay, then, then let's move ahead. There are certain amazing, amazing actionable items for you, which is using volume for trend confirmation. This is actually really beautiful. So for example, if the stock price is increasing and at the same time, if you look at the volume and the volume is also really high, volume is also increasing, volume is also big, then you can actually expect the stock to be bullish. That is... The stock price is also moving up, which means that there is a good large green candle. At the same time, if there is a good large green volume bar, it is confirmation for a high probable bullish trend. Correct? Let us see an example. Let's go to chart and actually see an example. So yeah, we've come to charts again. We're looking at the daily candles in ITC, where I'll actually beautifully explain to you when the stock price is also moving up and the volume is also showing high volume, then it can indicate a bullish move, right? Let's look into that. Okay, so we can see that ITC is consolidating at around this point for a very long time. And then from here, ITC is moving up and up and up and up. Then here, it actually takes resistance and moves down. So we can kind of draw a line here. We learned about this 
in the last video we learned about drawing support and resistance lines if you haven't watched the video make sure you watch that video also right so here itc took a resistance and then came down and then see what happened here itc broke that resistance with a large good green candle and if you look at the volume there is a huge humongous large green volume bar also huge volume happening here right if you actually look over the last many days there hasn't been a single large green uh, volume candle like this again leave the green part aside there hasn't been a large volume bar like this so with very huge volume if you see here and a very good green candle this resistance was broken what does it indicate a high probable up move right and what did eventually happen it did move up ITC did move up so much, right? Maybe let us take us uh, take another example also here, right? Let us look at this up move itself. It actually moved up so much and then it started moving down. Then maybe we can draw a line here saying that probably some resistance was taken here. Then yes, ITC did come down a bit and then ITC started moving up. And then how was this resistance broken? With this huge green candle, right? And what can you see here? There is another huge large volume bar here indicating high volume here so this resistance again is being broken with a large green candle and large volume also and again even if you look at the next green candle here again that is also a large green candle breaking out from a resistance and there also you can see high volume compared to all the previous days right isn't there a large volume yes so again this is indication that there could be bullishness and what happened itc only moved up so much after that just an example right again as i always say let it be regarding a candlestick or volume or anything, anything regarding technical analysis. It can only give you high probable setups and that is what you should hunt for. Okay, so when the stock price is moving up, that is when there is a large green candle and large volume bar, then you can expect for a bullish move. In the second case, if you see, if there is a large green candle, price has moved up so much, but volume hasn't moved up so much. Okay, volume decreases means volume has, did not move much. Maybe compared to the previous volume bar, this volume bar actually came down. What does it mean? The price moved up, but there isn't large volume, which means that a lot of market participants are not believing in this large up move. And what is the expectation? The buyers are weak there. A lot of market participants are not believing in the move. So it can be a fake breakout. It can be just that the price moved up. It can just come down after that. What do, you, what, what do you understand so far? So, just a green candle, a large green candle is in confirmation for an up move. In the candlestick analysis, again, if you haven't watched the video, make sure you watch the video, the link is here. In the candlestick video, we learned that if there is a marubozu on the chart, there is a chance that there could be an up move from there. What are you learning here? When there is a marubozu, not just look into a marubozu green candle, also look into the volume. If there is high volume, Coupled with the Marbozo, even a higher probability chance that the stock, stock could move up. Understanding what we are doing here. So going ahead, we are learning newer and newer concepts. And put all of these concepts together, you can get a higher, even much, much higher probability trade. I hope you get the point. So if there is a Marbozo on the chart, and if the volume bar is much, much lower compared to all the previous volume bars, then don't go long there. Don't buy the stock there. Wait for volume confirmation also. I hope things are getting super clear for you. Now, let us look into the opposite side also. If the stock price is decreasing, which means that there is a good large red candle and if the volume is also high there, a large red volume bar there, it means that, yes, a lot of market participants are believing in the down move. So, you can expect bearishness. Just like that, maybe if there is a red candle, but the volume bar is in large. In fact, the volume bar is much lower or much smaller compared to the previous volume bars. Then market participants are not believing in the down move. You shouldn't also believe in that down move. So, stay cautious there. Right. So, we sellers are weak. Chance of a false breakdown. Probably the stock could move up from there. So, do not short that. Super clear. Very actionable really helping you in your trading journey, then make sure that you like the video, right? I know with so much itself, you've got a lot of practical application or practical knowledge, which will help your trading. But still, let's go to the next slide where I have some specific practical application for your trading journey, right? Number one is volume bars or volume in itself confirm breakouts or breakdowns. And because of that, it will help you to enter a trade, exit a trade, or even will help you to remain in a trade. 
So when you see that there is a good large green candle which is breaking a resistance and there is a there is large volume also what are you waiting for you can initiate a long trade there what did i do here i just coupled all the different things that we learned over the last many videos right there is a large green candle breaking a resistance with large volume buy that stock there right so these are practical application where you're using volume just like that you can exit a trade also you are in a long trade then there is a red candle and there is huge volume it confirms that the uh, uptrend is kind of over you can exit the trade there just like that it will help you remain in a trade also that is it is moving up there is a which you're in a long trade and the stock is moving up and up and up then there are a few red candles but the volume is not increasing at all you can probably choose to remain in the trade also continue being in the long trade in the initial original long trade beautiful right so the point here is volume as an indicator it speaks a lot of things regarding how many people are believing in the move that you're seeing on the candlestick so you just have to use that and practically your trading can get much much better in fact i'm not even stopping there i'm going to give you a trading strategy here a volume breakout trading strategy for you how interesting right so that's the second point a uh, saying here use volume shocker screeners to find good stock trading opportunities what are they volume shocker screeners so what does it mean see what if you could know in a stock at some point in a day there was huge volume happening there are thousands of stocks out there and among this thousands of stocks in some stocks in certain stocks there can be volume shockers on a specific candle there's huge volume what if you could know that because there's something interesting happening in the stock so if you could know that you could directly go into the stock open and start look into it maybe there is a good trading opportunity there is a long trading opportunity probably or a short trading opportunity amazing right so that's a good strategy in itself right so the strategy tells that if there is any huge volume activity happening in any stock at some point of time and if we could know that and if we could go into the stock and look at the charts maybe maybe there is a good trading opportunity by coupling all the different analysis that we are going to learn so how do you scan that how do you screen that by using volume shocker screeners so i'll show you certain screeners on this website called uh, charting again this is not a paid promotion at all uh, this is just a screener or this is a great website where you can build screeners you can find existing screeners and scanners uh, again i I've, i've personally used this i know i know a lot of people using this so just talking about the platform without taking any money from them just being transparent right anyways uh this is a link or this is a specific screener here the link to the screener is here and i'll put the link to the specific screener here in the description and in the pin comment so what does the screener do so this is a screener for volume shockers intraday and buy so this basically screens for stocks which has shown huge volume uh, in the stock and also the stock has moved up also good the stock has moved up that is in a specific 5 minute interval the stock price also spiked the volume also spiked good opportunity right you can probably look into the chart at least so yeah this is the logic behind the screener so if you see here the volume of a 5 minute candle should be thrice three times the average of the volume of the previous 10 minute candles so what does it mean if you go into the chart you can see a humongous volume bar so that is what is being screened here so if you see here you can see that amaraja batteries is being screened and if you see price has moved up 9 percentage and volume also spiked at some point so you run this and you get a signal from this you go to the chart probably there's something happening in the in the uh, in the stock and probably there is a trading opportunity that is the point here is that during when the market is open you can run the screener whenever there is a signal the screener will tell you hey there is a signal in certain stock in a specific stock volume is also increasing price is also increasing you go and check it out probably there is a good trading opportunity i hope you understand the point so there are multiple stuff like this available out there going ahead in our course here we learn about a lot of different trading strategies no worries at all okay so before ending the video i have one more specific indicator for you which is called a volume profile indicator now when we learned about volume what does it indicate volume indicates the number of shares bought and sold in a specific time interval now a volume profile indicator will tell in a specific time interval in a specific time interval across different prices at what prices were more volume at interesting 
I'll, I'll go to the chart and show you it is super interesting, right? So volume profile indicator shows trading activity at specified price levels over a time period. Maybe before reading more of theory, we should actually go to the chart, see that, then come back and read theory, right? So let's go to chart. So again, this is ITC for you. This is our daily time frame. So uh, this is the region that we were studying, right? So in order to activate volume profile indicator, what you have to do is you have to come here and you have to select fixed range volume profile, right? I've selected fixed range volume profile. Now I'm going to analyze the volume of the stock at different price levels over a specific time period. So first I have to do is select the time period in which I'm going to analyze. So I'm going to analyze from here till say here. Okay. So I clicked here first, then I'm going to click, click here. So I selected that time period where I'm doing the analysis. So if you see here in this time period, right in this time period, now you see volume bars here on the Y axis which says that. Now, where do you see the largest volume bar here, right? And what is the price there? Nearly 266. So this analysis says that in this time period, at the price 266 is where the most volume is happening in the stock. 266 is the price where most of the sellers are buy and buyers are interested in. And where is the next largest volume that you can see? Somewhere around here only, right? This whole zone of, I'd say 260 to 275 this whole zone is where most activity is happening so you can plan a lot of things here also right so you can actually plan a lot of things here also so why do you think this zone is important because this zone is where it itc went up till here and then consolidated then came down so a lot of actually uh stuff happening here and finally breakout happening from that level itself right so now let's get back into the theory and read a bit more about it so the volume profile indicator reveals significant price levels on chart by showing total volume traded at different price levels now again this is one step one step up one level up from our normal volume indicator so you can always look into volume indicator that is what is most important if you want to be up a tad better then you can also start analyzing volume profiles also right now a red line indicates the highest volume zone we saw this right this largest uh, volume zone is indica indicated by this red line here and finally it gives perspective on which price levels big volumes are getting traded at which price levels large volumes are getting traded at beautiful right it actually tells a lot of stories especially in consolidating charts because when a stock is consolidating it is difficult to find important price levels at that point of time you can add volume uh, profile indicator and you can start understanding important price levels which price level a lot of volume is happening so that is an important price level from there a possible breakout could happen or that could act as a resistance even talking about the upside very clear so in this video, we talked about volume, we cleared misconceptions about volume, we learned how to look at volume on charts, we learned what red and green bars on volume charts mean, and we learned how to couple volume analysis along with candlestick analysis in order to take amazing trades. Finally, we learned volume breakout strategies, volume shocker strategies on screener, on charting.com. I'm giving the link down uh, in the pinned comment and in the description and even on top of that, we also learned about volume profile indicator. I hope this is more than enough. So going ahead in the coming videos, we'll be learning about even more indicators, which you can couple with whatever you've learned so far. And you can, you can be in a state where you can take amazing profitable trades. And that is the journey that we are in. So yeah, as I said before, if you like the video, make sure that you smash the like button, go down in the comment section, ask me whatever doubts that you have on your head, share the video with as many as people as possible, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. So that is said from my side in today's class as always let's learn trade invest and grow together see you in the next class bye bye